technology had to meet. First of all, it was important to consider the speed of the bus. The distance of detection was also important. We wanted to be able to sense the buses at 5 to 6 meters from the platforms. Tracking the buses wirelessly while they are circulating was also an important criteria. Moreover, and also important, was the weather aspect. We needed to make sure that the system would still be functional through temperatures that could go as low as minus 40. AMT really looked at the whole ecosystem of how you can take advantage of RFID. By putting a, a cargo tag on the side of buses and then being able to read them with fixed readers, what it did is it allowed the ability to have the movements in and out of yards managed much more effectively and that information fed real time through the wireless infrastructure so that you could do greater planning around the yard as well as scheduling at the dock doors that they needed to go to. The solution consists of uh, close to 400 RFID tags, readers, bridges, adapters, access points from Motorola. At the entrance at, and the exit of the, the depot, we have a system that captures the information and gives a real-time inventory of buses in, in the depot. The minute the bus shows up, it lights up green. That tells me the bus is there and it's loading the people. And then I have the other screen, which tells me which bus is supposed to be there, which bus driver is supposed to be on that bus, what time it's supposed to leave. So if it's late, I have people here that are ready and take the bus and uh, do the route. We have developed a sophisticated software so we can give some information about the detection. Along with AMT, we are going to develop some reports based on their requirements. By implementing such a technology using RFID, AMT is able now to provide more uh, accurate information to the, the bus rider to improve their customer service and also give more information to the supervisors or the terminal uh, managers. We can see exactly what time the bus comes in, what time it leaves, and it gives us the time that it was on the dock. The RFID system has been able to uh, help the passengers because uh, they don't have to go outside at all. So they stay inside and they have all the information about what time their bus is going to go by, if it's cancelled or if it's late or if it's on time.